So uh, this one is a case number five. Now uh, first four cases where we learned about different functions like exponential, trigonometric, hyperbolic and algebraic. Now two more cases here we have case five and six where we are going to see the combination of these four functions only. Which four function? Exponential to that algebraic. So it may happen that now exponential into trigonometry appear or exponential into hyperbolic will appear. So whenever that things happens, so whenever exponential into trigonometry or exponential with hy hyperbolic, trigonometric or hyperbolic or algebraic appears, then uh, first of all we'll take that e raised to ax outside the operator by replacing d by d plus a. Okay, replace d by d plus a and e raised to x will come outside the operator. So for example, here pi is equal to 1 upon phi d of e raised to ax into v. This v is a function either trigonometric, hyperbolic or algebraic. In such a case, e raised to ax is written outside the operator. You will observe that e raised to ax is on RHS, this side of operator and now that is outside the operator. And we replace that d by d plus a. And now depending on v, depending on v, suppose v is a trigonometric, we replace, we replace d square by, yes, minus a square, minus, minus a square. hyperbolic, then d square by, a square. And what about uh, uh, if it is algebraic, what should be done? If it is algebraic, we, we have to re convert this phi of d plus a in the form of 1 upon 1 plus t or 1 upon 1 minus t by one taking minus. lowest degree term as a common. So uh, it's a very simple thing that only the extra part that you have to remember like that we have to replace d by d plus a. So here we have a repetition. Here we will have a repetition of all these uh, types again. Means whatever we learned uh, trigonom uh, trigonometric, hyperbolic and uh, algebraic. There is a repetition of that type. So we'll see the example. So it will become a more clear. So uh, here only the important part is a combination will appear. So question number one is on the screen now. We have to solve this uh, third order differential equation. And uh, the RHS you will observe it is not only exponential or not only algebraic. It is a combination. It's a combination. So we have to use uh, that case number five here. Okay. So let me first finish the complementary function. So step one. Yes, step one. What's the accelerator equation here? dq minus 7d minus 6. dq minus 7d minus 6 equal to 0. Correct. Now, uh, you should tell me uh, what are the hit and trials? Which are the trials we will have here? Either plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, or plus or minus 6. Because factors of 6. Minus 1. Yes, uh, generally then minus 6 is there. So one of the factor may, uh, should be negative. So one of the, see when the constant term have the minus sign, one of the root will be negative. Okay, so you can try with the minus 1 also. So if you replace minus 1, this is a minus 1, this is plus 7 and minus 6. Yes, true. So minus 1 only satisfied. Okay, minus 1 is a first root by hit and trial method. So let I write that. So first of all, we have to find out that first root by hit and trial method. So, uh, once we get that root by hit and trial method, what we have to do it, we have to write that root here, so somewhere here we are writing. Write all the coefficients of that cubic polynomial in decreasing order. So, tell me that coefficients. Yes? 1, One 0, minus zero. 7, minus 6. Very good. So, these are the four coefficients. So, 0 is included because d square coefficient, we have to write as it is then 0. So, uh, the first coefficient we take as it is cross multiply now 1 into minus 1 is a minus 1 then we add it so it comes minus 1 only minus 1 into minus 1 plus 1 and we get here minus 6 minus 6 into minus 1 is a plus 6 and that's we get as a 0 because minus 6 plus 6 is a 0 so we got a quadratic equation here d square minus d minus 6 is equal to 0 d square minus d minus 6 equal to 0 now what are the factors here? Yes, can you tell me? 3, 2. 3, 2. Okay. So D, uh, is it D minus 3 and D plus 2? 
is that so d is equal to 3 and minus 2 na not 3 2 is that correct 3 and minus 2 so thus we got d is equal to how many roots all the three roots will write it here we'll, we can write it d is equal to here we can write it d is equal to minus 1 is the first root which we have got it by hit and trial and uh, remaining two are like minus 2 and 3 is it correct so why see tell me the why see C1 e raised to power minus e x plus C2 e raised to power minus 2x plus and C3 e raised to power 3x. Yes, correct. That about the end of the step number 1. So we got so here. Y minus x. Pardon? So why you have taken C1 uh, e raised to minus x? e raised to minus x. Because oh, okay, minus sir, 1 okay. is a root, na? Okay, sir, okay. This minus 1 is one of the root and there are uh, total three roots are there. Okay, so that's the end of the step one here. So just we got a complementary function CF. Many times uh, whenever cubic equation is there, so CF will be of a two marks and uh, whenever it is a quadratic, so, sorry, uh, second order, that times uh, the CF carries one marks weightage. Okay. This one is a two marks part of this question, step one. Now step two will be for three marks there. Okay where we have to find out a particular integral for e raised to 2x into 1 plus x square. So step 2, let me start a step 2 here. Pi or yp, yp or pi which is 1 upon 5d or can I uh, erase uh, everything uh, if you completed the cf part so that we get uh, enough space to write that pi. First tell me whether you finish that yc. Okay, very good. So, as all you finished, we'll start here. Step two, step two, which is a yp, and in yp we take one upon one upon d cube minus seven d minus six of e raised to two x into one plus x square. So, the new part is here, exponential term into algebraic part is appeared. So, it is in the form of e raised to ax into v. So, what should be done? What is the replacement? What should be a replacement? d by? Yes? Sir, minus 6 taking common. Uh, no, no. It is not algebraic only. Na? If it is only algebraic, yes, we should take that minus 6 as a common. But right now it is in the form of e raised to ax into v form. So whenever e raised to ax into v is there, first we should take exponential outside the operator by replacing d by 0. No, d plus a. 1 d plus sir. a. So in this case d, d plus a. 2. So this is the new part. Okay. Uh, whenever e raised to ax is there, we replace d by d plus a. Here we replace d by d plus 2. So that, so that in this step what happens? This e raised to 2x will be now outside the operator. You will observe where I am written e raised to x. It is outside the operator. Uh, and uh, here every d will, we are going to replace by d plus 2. It is a d plus 2 bracket cube minus 7d plus 2 minus 6 and here 1 plus x square as it is. Okay, so uh, right now this operator we have to operate on 1 plus x square. So what we done only we replace d by d plus a so that exponential term we taken out and now the this part just we have to operate it on algebraic so we use the method of algebraic function but before that we should simplify the denominator so let me simplification d plus 2 bracket cube tell me it is a d cube yes It is a plus b bracket cube, a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square. 
Any doubt here, anyone? No, sir. If you do not have a doubt, you can ex tell me the bracket cube expansion here. D cube is I am written. Eight plus eight. Plus. Eight. Uh, okay. Uh, three a square b. It is not only eight. Okay, you taken directly last term. So okay, no issue. Uh, next term. 3 a square b means uh, 6 d square plus 3 a b square so 4 into 3 12 and plus 8 is it so this is actually a plus b bracket cube a cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square plus b cube okay minus 7 d so we, I'm multiplying 7 inside the bracket minus 7 d minus 14 and minus 6 of 1 plus x square okay uh, should not worry uh, you may think it's a very lengthy operator and now it's very difficult it's not like that just go step by step you will get the answer now simplify the denominator in the denominator we get a d cube plus 6 d square So collect the terms of d together 12d so what is the simplification 12 minus 7 5d and what about the constant terms this is 8 and minus 20 is it minus 12 yes sir and of 1 plus x square <laughs> Now you can tell me what should be the common and the Link the Pardon? It is Nothing, sir. Okay. So what should be done now? Someone started at the beginning. Yes. This is algebraic function left and it is 1 upon 5d is there. So what should be done there? Sir, minus 12 common. Very good. Yes. Okay. So, lowest degree term is a minus 12. This minus 12 is a lowest degree term that should be taken common so that it is converted in 1 upon 1 plus t or 1 upon 1 minus t form. So, uh, a next step, I will write e raised to 2x upon minus 12. So, minus 12 is taken common and this will be converted as now minus 12 divided by minus 12 is 1 so that one i am writing here then minus minus sign i am this minus 12 sign i am giving here and this remaining term d cube plus 6 d square plus 5 d upon 12 i am writing and that is of 1 plus x square if you have the doubt yes you can ask up to here just taken minus 12 as a common and which form we get it is 1 upon 1 upon 1 minus t so this t is this bracket the term t is this bracket 1 upon 1 minus t what's the expansion what's the expansion Yes, uh, if you have the problem for the mic, Akash, you can log in again. It's not an issue. You can. Yes, I'm asking. What's the expansion? 1 plus, one so plus, one t, plus t square common. Yes, uh, we, we should go up to t square, is that? Because this is a... Yes, sir. Yes, correct. It is a second degree. So, we should go up to t square. So, 1 plus t plus t square, we are going to write it. Now, I am going to erase the first two steps here. This first uh, two steps.
will observe then then yp will become now uh, e raised to 2x upon minus 12 that part as it is now we are writing in the numerator see this is 1 upon 1 minus t that goes in the numerator with 1 plus t so 1 plus t the t term is like uh, d cube plus 6d square plus 5d divided by 12 this 1 plus t plus t square that is a uh, d cube plus 6d square plus 5d upon 12 bracket square that's one only into or of 1 upon 1 plus x square of that 1 upon 1 plus x square so we're taking that is we have to operate this bracket bracketed operator on 1 plus x square that's one if anyone have a doubt up to here yes you can ask now only those term we are going to keep it which we require that means vanishing terms or zero terms we are going to ignore so you should tell me now which terms we should ignore now so i'll write outside part as it is minus e raised to 2x upon 12 as it is yes is one required yes sir. obviously correct whether d cube term is required no sir no sir so we should ignore this 6d square upon 12 is it required yes yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. so 6 by 12 i will write 1 by 2 okay 1 by 2 d square i am simplifying at the same time then 5d term is it required yes sir yes sir correct 5d by 12 that also required come to this bracket square now even though it is six. Like a plus b plus c bracket square how to take a plus b plus c bracket square the formula says a square a plus square b square plus, b plus c square, square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca correct and now tell me which terms we require so a square not required because d raised to 6 b square not required because it is d raised to 4 c square whether c square required, is, sir. yes it is required so what is the c square it is a 25 by 144 d square correct very good so we taken uh, a square we ignored b square we ignored c square we taken because it is of second derivative now let us take 2ab so this 2ab if we take it is a d raised to 5 not required okay 2bc all three yeah. doesn't require yes 2bc is a d cube and uh, 2ac is not required correct nothing is required very good and it is of 1 plus x square only so this is a very important step actually this is a crucial step where you should you should know which terms you should write these two steps are very very important in algebra this is one step where we return up to t square first because it is a quadratic equation and after that we ignored again the zero terms or vanishing terms okay that's one now uh, one step what we can do it we can combine this d square term together first and then we operate so uh, next step uh, I can write like this e raised to 2x upon 12 1 as it is now let I write a first derivative term here 5d by 12 now let me combine this 1 by 2 plus 25 upon 144 I think 72 plus 25 is it 75 by 144. Uh, no, 72 plus 9, uh, 25, no? It is 97, no? Yes, sir. 97 upon 72. No, 97 upon 144. 97 upon 140. Okay, okay. Sir. That's LCM. Okay, and the last step now, just we have to take that, uh, this 1 into 1 plus x square derivative of 1 plus x square and second derivative of 1 plus x square we have to write and simplify can i erase this step this last two steps here can i erase can i erase this step yes sir okay minus e raised to 2x upon 12 as it is now 1 into 1 plus x square it is 1 plus x square as it is 
plus 5 by 12 the derivative of 1 plus x square yes 2x 2x correct then 97 upon 144 into second derivative 0 how second 0 it's a 2 na first derivative is a 2x yes sir yes sir 2 sorry first derivative is a 2x second derivative is a 2 there okay no issue good and uh, here is the last part then last step minus e raised to 2x upon 12 now we are going to uh, okay one more step probably we have to do it because uh, this simplification will do it first so it is 1 plus x square plus 5 by 6 x uh, plus 97 by 72 now you just have to add this constant 97 by 72 plus 1 that will be the final answer or you can keep this also the final answer okay so that about yp little lengthy but step by step if you go you will not make any mistake there so this will be the particular integral and already we calculated cf so we should say thus y is equal to yc plus yp is a complete solution y is equal to yc plus yp is a complete solution what will be the final constant term? Yes, anyone? Simplified. 97 plus 72. 169 upon 72. Okay, 169. 169 upon 72 will be the constant term in the final answer. Yes, very good, Dilsha. It is 169 upon 72. Yeah, correct. Just go step by step, you will definitely get the answers here. Tell me when you finish it. Any doubt anyone here? No sir. No doubt. Okay. So can we move to the next question? Or you want to write it? One minute. Pardon? One minute. Okay, yes. So done. Okay, very good. Next question is on the screen here. So, d square minus 4d plus 3 of y is equal to x square into e raised to 2x. So, first, uh, everyone uh, complete the yc and tell me the answer. So c1 e raised to power x plus c2 e raised to power 3x. 
Okay, very good. You are fast, huh? Okay, <laughs> so let me cross check. So you got the roots and uh, just to read. So yes, uh, C1 e raised to x plus C2 e raised to 3x, is that? You said same? Hmm? Yes, sir, yes. Sir. Okay, good. Now, uh, complete a, a YP, start. Start YP. Because, uh, see here you will observe first what you've done. You got the factors as 1 and 3. So as the factors are 1 and 3, we get yc as a c1 e raised to x plus c2 e raised to 3x. That about the first part. Now you come across 1 upon 5d of fx and find out the yp. Step number 1, what we should do? We should replace. The d by d plus a. d by d plus 2 here. Okay, we replace d by d plus 2 and uh, take exponential out and then do it on algebra. So complete it, try it your own, then I will show you the answer. Are you getting this one after replacing d by d plus 2? Yes, sir. You are getting 1 upon d square minus 1, no? Okay. Yes, sir. Good, very good. So just to replace d by d plus 2 square the bracket simplified and 1 upon d square minus 1 of x square is left. What should be uh, next step here? Minus 1 should be taken common from the Very good. Room. Minus 1 should be taken common. So, after that, it will come as 1 upon 1 minus t, 1 upon 1 minus t form, and you can use that formula, 1 plus t plus t square and so on. You can tell me the answer then. Sir, minus e to the power 2x into x square plus 2. Okay, just one minute. Uh, minus e raised to 2x into x square plus 2. Very good. That's the correct answer here. So I will show you the, the complete solution here. So this is the case where minus is a taken common. So it is 1 upon 1 minus t form. So 1 plus t plus t square is taken. But actually t square is also not required because it is a d raised to 4. And fourth derivative of x square is 0. <coughs> so it is x square plus second derivative of x square. So x square plus 2. So this will be the yp. Then yc plus yp is the complete solution. Yes, very good. If anyone have a doubt in any of the step, you can ask. I will repeat it. Okay, someone is asking some doubt there. Why we are taking d equal to 2? Why we are taking d equal to 2? We are not taking d is equal to 2 anywhere. We replace d by d plus 2. That's a method here, Akash. Uh, for uh, solving a PR, A is equal to 2. Uh, yes, correct. A is 2. 
because we are comparing here with e raised to ax plus b. So if you see the uh, starting at the beginning, at the beginning we seen if uh, we have uh, yp of this part, yp of 1 upon phi d of uh, that e raised to ax into b. Okay, so this a is important. So whenever exponential into trigonometry is there, so we replace d by d plus a. We replace d by d plus a. So we take e raised to ax outside here and we write it as 1 upon phi of d plus a d plus a of v. So in this case that e raised to ax if you compare e raised to ax then a is coming as a 2 and we replace d by d plus 2 there. Is it clear? So that way exponential comes outside. This exponential first part we are uh, converting uh, this product into a single function to take exponential outside the operator this is before the operator uh, we have to replace d by d plus 2 and that 2 is actually e raised to x so I will show you the next question then if you do not have any doubts d cube minus 3d square plus 3d minus 1 of y is equal to root x into e raised to x. Okay, root x into e raised to x. Step number 1, you should finish yc at least. So answer should be quick actually in this case. By observation you will get the roots. Anyone? Anyone completed YC? No one? No one is there who is completing YC there. Huh? It's very simple, no? Even though it is cubic so equation. D minus 1 to the whole cube. Very good, very good. So that observation is important. It is a D minus 1 bracket cube. So 1 is a repeated thrice. 1 is a repeated thrice. That is a root. So D is equal to 1, 1, 1 is a root. So what should be YC? Sir, C1 e raised to X uh -huh. plus C2 X e raised to X. Huh? Plus C3 x square e raised to x. Okay, good. So, but uh, you can write like C1 plus C2 x plus C3 x square into e raised yes, to x. Yes, sir. By both taking comma. Both are correct. Yeah. Yes, by taking e raised to x as a common. So, that about y c. We'll observe C1 plus C2 x plus C3 x square e raised to x. That is a y, y c. So it is already d minus 1 bracket cube. And we got a y c there. You can start YP. Or you can start YP step two. Anyone uh, can able to simplify that exponential term at least? Are you taking exponential outside? Yes, sir, D plus one will be uh, replaced. Yes, correct. We should replace D by D plus one. Then what should be a simplification? D it's, actually, huh? it's actually very simple. Uh, some you should do little smart work here. Not. You don't replace d by d plus 1 here. Where you should replace? This is a phi of d. d plus 1 minus 1. Here. Okay. That is, this is also the phi of d. So 
you replace d by d plus d one, cube. it is just d cube will left. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you replace d by d plus one here, unwantedly you will simplify it. Okay. But at the end you get d cube only. But see, <clears throat> phi of d is this bracket, and that bracket is itself a d minus one cube. We know, and we have to replace d by d plus one. So plus one minus one gets cancelled, and we get that uh, d cube here only. So that I show you here. Let I remove it. So here is this case 1 upon 5d of fx, 1 upon d minus 1 cube of root x e raised to x. We replace d by d plus 1 <coughs> and we get 1 upon d cube of root x. Now 1 upon d cube means uh, now 3 integrations. 3 times we have to integrate that root x because 1 by d is the integration operator. So e raised to x 1 upon d square and integration of root x that is x raised to half is x raised to 3 by 2 upon 3 by 2. One more integration x raised to 5 by 2 into 5 by 2 and last integration x raised to 7 by 2 upon 7 by 2. And if we simplify everything we get yp as <clears throat> 8 upon 105 e raised to x x raised to 7 by 2. So example looks very complicated but it's actually very simple. Any doubt here? No, sir. No doubt.